Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Hunger Games or Survival Games, depending on how you call it. So for this episode, I have decided to play on the Nexus, and I am on the map Duckbill City. So let's see how well this goes. I've played on it twice before, I think, so I should maybe be able to find some chests scattered around on the map. So there we go, okay, a chain chest plate, which is really good. Let's just check these other chests very quickly. A wood axe, which is good for a starting weapon. And now let's get out of here. Uh, and if you're just, like, wondering, I'm playing the Undead Hunger Games, I think it's called, where after five minutes, everyone who died and is still, like, online in this game will come back to life as a zombie, and then they have to take revenge to the person that killed them. And if they succeed in killing the person who killed them, then they come back to life, I think. Yeah. So let's see. Let's still see about not dying because fighting as a zombie against a player will still be very difficult. But anyway, I'm just going to look for some chests. I've got some good stuff in here leggings, which I didn't have. I still need a better weapon though. Um, let me just very quickly though sort out my inventory and okay there we go so now let's see where's the chests um okay I might, I'm just gonna check inside this building to see if there's something around the corner yes there's a chest and okay stone axe which is much better than the wooden one okay gold helmet is as good as an iron helmet so I'll use that and now let's keep going so let's see what I can find oh there's this big diamond building which I might want to check out because diamonds are good maybe diamonds will give me luck and let's go in oh wait there's a chest behind here so let's get that okay stone sword which is even better than the stone axe okay now I'm just gonna check for some more scattered like scattered chests around here I don't see any, so now let's see what we can find in here. Um, there's nothing too good, there's just food which is always useful, and um, yeah, I guess let's just go up here, see what I can find. Um, okay, this is a random room. Oh, iron leggings, which is good. Um, I think I'll just put the chain helmet on because it's more durable, put iron leggings on. And I am pretty geared out, I I could say. Okay, now let's just go up one more floor and see what we can find in here. Okay, there must be a chest somewhere around here. Oh, that's tricky. I don't want to get stuck. Okay, good. I just made sure to not fall in there because that would have been a really bad episode if I did. And... Yeah, okay, there's no chest around here, so that's all then. Okay, the closest player is around 50 blocks away. I don't know, shall I go for him or not? Um, I don't know, I'm scared. Maybe he's really geared out, even though I've got lots of chests in this area, so maybe he doesn't have as much stuff. Um, let me just check if I can put something better on and then consider going into PvP him. So let's be careful now. Let's just go around a bit. So he's to the right. Around the oh, he's right in here. Okay, he's he's not too strong. He placed TNT though, so I'll, I'll just do the same. Hopefully it damages him. And... Okay, one more. Okay, no, he he's not gonna fall for that trick. Now, let me quickly go in and just PvP, come on, let's get those critical hits, and... Ooh, come on, killer bucker, don't kill me. There we go. Okay, let's see what he has. Um, he... He doesn't have any better armor or weapons than me. Oh, wait, yes, he does. He's got chain boots, which I needed. The leather and gold things I don't need. Wet noodles. I'll keep in my... I'll keep in my inventory because I think if you eat them on the Nexus then there's a out of five you get a one like it's one out of five chance that you can get strength from it but as you can see I just got hunger which is not good <laughs> so 
let's just see where this other player is. I'm just going to turn my render distance down a bit because I feel like I'm lagging a tiny bit. Anyway, oh and I'm noticing the undead arises in 10 seconds. Okay, let's watch out for those zombies then. Hopefully Killer Bucker doesn't come back for me. And... Okay, now I need to watch out. Oh, it even turned night time. This is going to get intense. Okay, with five tributes and three zombies. Well then, I think the best thing to do was maybe go back to that diamond house because the only way up is the ladder. And if I'm in the top floor, then I can easily knock the zombies down. And I think that would be a good option. Because I don't want to risk anything this game because I have played quite a few games on the Nexus and failed terribly. So I'm just really hoping that I will win this. But I don't know, I'm feeling lucky this game. Because <laughs> I've gotten so far already. Now, let's just wait. Too cool for school, DME. It's quite far away. Wait, I'm not sure if... Sh if that player's coming for me or not. Okay, now he's running away. I wonder if you can see um, the zombies on the compass. I'm not sure. Maybe let's just go out and see if there's anything around. Mm, okay. Oh, wait. Okay, no. For a second I thought the player was coming for me again, but they're not. I, I think they're just running, running around randomly in one area. Well... Okay, I think, yeah, I still need some better armor because the the best gear you can get in the Hunger Games is full iron, and I want to see if I can get that, so I'm not sure if I should go in here, see if the player I killed has gotten every chest, okay, there's a chest in here, which he didn't loot because there's iron leggings, and I got chain leggings off him, so let's put those on. And maybe go check the next room. Or maybe let's go to the back first of all. Or maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, let's... Let's just... Let's just look around in here, see what I can find. Okay, let's go through this door. Okay, I don't see a chest in here. Let's see if there's a hidden one. Is that a chest? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not because otherwise I just failed terribly. Okay, and... Oh, a diamond! Looks like Killer Bucker didn't really look around this place carefully. <laughs> so one more diamond and then we've got that diamond sword. Let's see if there's anything in the back of here. Nope, there's nothing. And... Okay, there's a chest down there but it's empty. Okay, now, okay, too, too cool for school is, I don't know, she, she or he is coming close to me and then taking their distance again, so I'm not sure what that player is doing, so maybe if I get closer to that player, then I'll take them out if they don't want to come to me. Okay, first of all, let's check this house for anything. No chest anywhere. Okay. And I am... Okay, what's that? Okay, that's like a little trap, which I do not want to get trapped in. Okay, now let's get back out of here and... Go after Too Cool for School. Or... I don't know, I'm still deciding if I should go after her. Or him. Well. Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. There's there's a bit... There's not enough action in this game at the moment. I've killed one player, but that's about it. So... Or maybe if I just go to the middle, then... Then I'll find other players. So... Let's just get over this big fence. What's this? Deathmatch countdown has started. Okay. Well... While the deathmatch countdown is on, I think I'll just... Look for some better loot, get full iron. Oh, I noticed I only have a stone sword, which is really bad. Like, it's not really bad, but it could be better. Um, 
or yeah, let's just find that one diamond and then I can make that diamond sword which which will be very good. And let's go through here. Can I find any chests under the trees or in the ground? Um, doesn't look like it. Maybe if I go back to spawn. Or, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, backer boy 64 is really close to me. I just can't see him anywhere. I'm just going to... Oh, there he is. Okay, I do not want to fight him right now. So close to deathmatch. Let's just hit him with eggs and snowballs. And maybe now go in for the hits. Okay, no, I was too slow. I just wanted to weaken him a tiny bit, but I didn't get to it. Now let's just sort out my inventory here. And... Let's go. Oh, oh, he's attacking me. No, 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 no. Whoa, he got loads of hits on me. I'm half hearts. Let's just get away. Ooh, what, what's this person doing? He's like right inside of me. Let's just get away because I do need to regenerate a little bit. I can't fight with six hearts. That's really... That wouldn't be smart at all with four tributes remaining. Okay. I'm just going to let them fight it out a little bit while, while I... Oh, never mind. I hit him, so that's good. I was going to say I'll let them um, like fight it out a little bit, weaken themselves. And then afterwards I'll come in for the cleanup. Okay, now let's just quickly get away. I've got this iron chest plate. I'm not sure if I'm wearing one. Um, I'm just going to look for some other stuff though. Okay, first of all, let's kill this person. Come on, it's a 1v1. Okay, that was easy. I didn't even need that iron chest plate. <laughs> well, GG everyone. Well, there we go, our first official win on the Nexus. So, I hope you enjoyed everyone. I did. I haven't commentated in a while because I just came back from from a holiday that I've been to. And, yeah, and I've been uploading a lot of 1v1s, so I need to get back into this commentating mood again. So, bear with me while I get used to that. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.